Hi guys, so I want to show you something which I think it's really really cool and fun to work with. So this here is a relay. It is called a single pull double throw relay. You'll see that it has five prongs. Okay, and there's a reason why there's five prongs and I'll show you. So the rating of this little gadget here is rated at a maximum of 250 volt running through it. Okay. And the control, in order for this thing to work, you have to introduce a control voltage of uh, 24 volts through the coil in order for it to work. Okay. So here, if you can see here, that's the coil. Okay. You'll see it says 20 coil 24 volt here that's the coil and it's telling me from post terminal number one and three that's the coil if you look at here that's number one okay if you look at here carefully that's number three so between here and here there's a coil that needs to be energized by 24 volts okay if you introduce 12 volts into here it might not work very well but it, it has to be 24 volts, okay? So here, you'll see one, two, three posts, four, two, and five. So if you look at the diagram here, it tells you that di the diagram between, the post between number four and number two, it is always closed, okay? Meaning that number four, right here, okay? And number two, always, have contact with each other it's close okay meaning that if you introduce current right now between here and here it'll go it'll work okay so if you look at here again number five and number four you'll see that little arrow it didn't it doesn't touch that little line so that means that it is always open okay here number five and number four they are always open what that means is that if you put a if you put electricity between here and here, it won't work because it's always open. However, if you introduce 24 volts into these two terminals right here and energize the coil, the coil will then, okay, closes or opens up this this post right here, this this circuit here. It's it flips the circuit the switch from here boop, over here. Okay, so now electricity can course to this post and wherever you uh, design it to go. And then if you de-energize this, turn off the power to this coil, it comes back boop, over here and then electricity can course to here to whatever uh, circuit you, are, you want it run. So yeah, that's how this thing works. It's fun. And I am going to go make another circuit, build another circuit up in my HVAC. Uh, well, I mean, not my HVAC, but up in my uh, attic on my air conditioning heating uh, circuit. Uh, so that's that, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Stuff like this. Folks who work, who works in the HVAC uh, industry uses it every day to do whatever they want so that's that guys let me know what your thoughts are